Michael, just to get to FSU and, and the importance of this game and, and beating them at home. Everybody keeps reminding you guys it's been since 2004 that, that Miami's beaten FSU at home. How much does that play a factor for you guys at all going to? I didn't realize that. Um, I mean, we just, we just got to come out and dominate. We can't really think about that. You know, it's a rivalry game. Of course, it's going to be a big, big atmosphere, but you, we got to be focused on the job. What do you what do you think about their offense and, and what Francois does? Manny just said that might be the best quarterback he hasn't faced in two years. Um, yeah, they, uh, he, he definitely come back and he had additions to their offense that they didn't have last year. But um, I think he's a great player. I think we got to come now. We got to lock in and we got to do what we got to do. How much does it help when you guys score on defense like last game? I mean, it helps the team overall. Any team will tell you that a scoring defense is a good defense. You keep your offense off the field. You keep them fresh. So you got younger guys like Nicosi. He, he doesn't have to do too much. You know, it just takes on the whole team we in a better position. Like, what was it like kind of going through film study after North Carolina? You guys four six turnovers, four on three, but the QB run and the run defense were things that you knew you had to work on. What was it kind of like reviewing that afterwards? I mean, it's just um just letting everybody know, okay, we could have did these things better. We could have did little small detail things better. And we, of course, FSU is probably going to pick up on some of the things that we didn't hit on. So we just got to do a great job of uh, readjusting and just doing our job that much better. How impressive is Aker to you? Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a great back, man. He, uh, he ran hard against us last year. He's been having a great season. You know, so I'm just excited to get out there and you know, compete against him. What does this rivalry mean to you? you um, I mean, that defines your season. You know, you can do a lot of great things, but you know, a lot of people are going to ask you what you did in this game or did you win this game. So I think we just got to come out and dominate. You got to realize the atmosphere and uh, how, how big this game is. We just talked about uh, Jaquan coming back and what that means for you guys and being the heartbeat. How much confidence does that sort of thing? Infusing this defense when he's out there. I mean, we just we, we love him. I mean, we we have a lot of confidence that he's going to do his job and he's he's, he's going to get everybody ready to go. You know, so we love to have him out there. I'm glad he's back, so we can get rolling. What's the uh, what's the atmosphere like on the field when you guys get a TFL? Say again. What's the atmosphere like in the huddle when you guys get a TFL? In the huddle, um, I, mean, I couldn't tell you. I mean, we all chase it to the ball. I mean, we pride ourselves on TFLs. You know, um, we got great guys on the defensive line. Linebackers, Jared Willis. So those guys, they get enough feel. We get all get enough feeling. We pride ourselves on those things. That that changes the game. That changes momentum. You know, you take plays out their playbook when you get TFL. So it's just an opportunity just to shut them down and get our offense back on the field so we can score. Mike, we've talked so much about what the turnover chain does for you guys. What's it been like, kind of watching the rest of the country come up with ropes and drones and chainsaws and a backpack? I mean, everything that, that's out there now. What what's that been like for you guys to watch that? Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, um. I think other schools had it before us. I think we just really, we, we made it exciting. We made the whole thing exciting. So, um, I mean, it's good. You know, it's, it's something that everybody on the team wants and it's a good thing for a defense coordinator to come up with. I mean, because everybody wants to have that, that spot. Like, I just got the Cuban link. I mean, of course you want to put on the Cuban link chain. I mean, that's exciting to do. So, um, just anything that you can do and you can think of your mind to, to, to let your defense come alive and, and, and compete, you got to do it. It doesn't look like a lot of people are giving you guys much credit or praise over the last few wins, saying, oh, the schedule's soft. Do you, what's your sort of reaction when you hear that and you see yourselves dropping back in the, in the rankings? I mean, it's a, it's a game. At the end of the day, I mean, we got to come out, we got to prepare. I mean, I can't, I can't focus on who we play. I mean, they're on the schedule, they put them on the schedule. We got to treat every game the same. So um, we just got to come out and compete. I mean, we can care less who we play. As long as we play how we're supposed to play, it doesn't matter. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.